Welcome. Casting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. And how's it going, everybody? And welcome to another episode here of the Indie Super Show, brought to you by the Damage 365 Radio Network, also being broadcasted on the Spreaker Radio Network, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and soon Spotify. I want to welcome in our early guest for today, Warriors of Wrestling Zone, Joey B. Welcome back to the show. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been, huh? I know. You've been too quiet. Uh, I've been a little... I've been a little busy. <laughs> I've been really busy. <laughs> little, little busy. New home. You got the baby, and uh, got your hands full with that. I'm sure. And uh, it's, I don't know. It's a little nerve wracking sometimes when you're you're so off the grid and quiet. Yeah, and somebody said that, like you know, where have you been? You've been, you've been quiet. Well, you know, I, I, I haven't, and I let people take shots at me, and I haven't responded, and um. I'm not gonna. I, I, I kind of want to take Jake's advice, but I just want to put it out there. People that can't even wipe my ass, <laughs> cut. Especially fucking unemployed gypsies. Because, motherfucker, you're a nobody. Oh, That's geez. all I gotta say about that. You know, you know what? You know, Kevin, you know, I'm coming to your, coming to your wedding in a few weeks. You know, you've been to my, my kids' baptism and stuff. You know why we're cool? Because doctors hang out with doctors, lawyers hang out. And you got garbage hanged out with garbage. <laughs> I, Sorry, I, I'm a little wound up. I had a nice big cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, I like I said, um, I, I said to you a while back when all this nonsense started. Like, I, I honestly don't understand where it stemmed from and uh, like how it escalated into all this. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't understand. I'm not, but I'll tell you what. I ain't gonna let anybody take shots anymore. People need to see where I am. They know where I am. Especially these fucking drug balls. Okay, well. As the things slow down, I'm not doing as much. Well, no, I am still doing a lot of overtime. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm able to focus on other things now besides just remodeling my home. Right. right. And take, and and take, that's what happens when you're, when you're successful and you own multiple homes. You know, you, you kind of <laughs> put your priorities in order. I know where I sleep at night. Yeah. That, I, yeah, I hear you there. It's... Owning a home is it's a great thing, but at the same time, it's uh, it isn't. Because <laughs> you're constantly uh, you know, no, fixing it, something. It is, it's an awesome thing, and the yeah. thing is, I still own my other home, and I still got tenants over there that call me about every little fucking thing. <laughs> like every time I get a text message, I'm like, oh come on, <laughs> Jesus. Be like, I lived there for ten but years. Slow down. It, it, what's that? I said you lived there for like what ten years, and and uh. They got more, no, more problems. Fourteen years. Four- I was there for fourteen years, and I've never. Oh, this is going on. This is going on. I'm like, come on. <laughs> uh, being a landlord is isn't fun. It's not fun. But uh, I mean, you, you're a, you're a landlord, and 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 then you like me. You got someone living with you, which you like to take videos of him mowing the lawn. I'm Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did the same thing the other day. Uh, JT was out mowing the lawn, and I was going to go out there and take video of him and, and tag you in it, but uh, he, he was yelling at me to get away. <laughs> he was, because uh, you know what? Earlier or the day before, I said, oh, we're going to go to this new wing spot. This guy told me that's a wing spot in Jackson. Mm-hmm. Well, chicken and more, or wings and more, and the wings were all right. I'm like, all right, Scott, he sat. That just be fine. I'm going this way. I said, no, Saturday we're going. All right. He comes home. He's like, all right, let's go. I'm starving. I said, no, Scott. <laughs> Get a, he, I don't think those wings agreed to them all day. I already was up all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So you got you got some stuff coming up uh, in uh, what two weeks? You have a show coming up. We got we got Warriors of Wrestling presents Live One. I'm gonna try to get these, these show names right because we got a few 
uh, TNA or Impact Wrestling Superstar Final is going to be there, mm-hmm. uh, challenging for the No Limits title. On uh, oh, actually, and then following that on October nineteenth, we have a Mike Quackenbush uh, seminar that's Friday night, October nineteenth. Mm-hmm. Uh, following that, we have uh, Staten Island with Tom Pritchard, uh, Ricky Steve, Tony Ambrose, uh, Warriors Wrestling presents. Uh, uh, and then the night next night, we have a whole host of people. Yeah. Who's says we to love Ricky Steamboat, uh, the Nasty Boys, Bob Holly, Barry Horowitz has just been added. That's uh, and that's a, a total intergender show. It's guys versus girls and tags and multi mans or multi races and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, following that, and where I'm going right now is to sign the contract. We return home to New Jersey in Sayreville, the Knights of Columbus, on Thanksgiving weekend, November 24th. I don't know the name of the show. Uh, I don't know. Who, I know that. Uh, Chad uh, got his champion defending the standalone wrestling title on the show, Joe Gacy. That's um, cool. That's all I know right now about that. It's like six weeks away. So more info as we go. December 1st, we have our 11-year anniversary. Uh, we announced one match, which is going to be the... We did away with the past, president, future of Battle Royal. Uh, just because we really don't have anybody from the past that shows up, not that anybody would care. Um, so we renamed it the Frankie Gass Memorial uh, Battle Royal, which I'm, I'm really uh, excited about. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, it's a really good cool tribute, and um, I'm hoping uh, the family comes down and uh, enjoys the the show, named after named after um, you know the father and the, the husband. Um, I don't know. I, I, I gave me chills last night because the, the graphic was made. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, obviously, I knew what I wanted to do, and I had the guy making it, sent it to me. Right. And I was sending it out to a few of the guys, you know, that they were that know what we were doing, and then I, I put it up and I tagged. Uh, his page, and you know, I take his wife's page. And I kind of got chills looking at it. I was like, wow, this is, you know, just looking at his picture and, you know, brings back memories. He's been gone almost a year. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's, you know, this is a friend of mine, so I think it's a cool, a pretty cool concept. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I definitely could have, uh, I could have definitely brought a guy back from your past and, uh, plugged him into your show. Um, you know, you just gotta, just gotta be willing to allow me to bring him. A guy from my past? Yeah, from your, your show's past. <laughs> Are you talking about a, a regular roster guy or a name? Uh, yeah, a regular roster guy. Well, you'd have to hit me up on the on the private <laughs> and tell me who this is. <laughs> Yeah, because if if you decide if you decide to do it, I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> well, you can't surprise me. I need to know what's going on. Oh no, not you! I meant like the people that you know, your loyal following that actually goes to the show and would know this person. Because you know what it is, and I don't know. I had no idea who you're talking about, but you know, when we throw around names and speaking of Scotty, I always throw around names of Scotty, and we're like, and this year, I mean, Scotty's kind of responsible for the, the Frankie Gatto Royal. He's like. Uh, you know, we don't really know who, like, who the fuck the people is. Somebody mentioned these names, and nobody knows who the fuck these people are. Right. You know what I mean? Well, you know what? It's like, we, we bring in third back Dan, but Dan's one guy. Right. But, you know, you know, know what? You got... You know, Joe, I was the only guy... You guys do a good job of showcasing, though, because you do your King of New York tournament, and that showcased uh, multiple yeah. talents that are, you know, kind of known in other promotions... So you know you show you showcase right. them you showcase the, the company that they work for predominantly, so you know this, this is a good way to do it too. Yeah, I'm just talking about, but see, with the King of New York, when I bring in let's say like Steve Payne or Dan Sullivan, the same thing, or, mm-hmm. or Schwartz Stud, which is John Stud, so I make a name for himself. But the thing with the the, the, the formerly past president, future battle royal, the past guys. Well, guys that wrestled for Warriors in the past that right. weren't names that aren't wrestling anymore that nobody uh, in my audience probably re- except for maybe like the real true guy but those who the fuck they are. Right. All right, Joe. Going down the list my, like this man, like nobody cares. My my guests for the day are, call, are calling in. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna have to cut you short. Gonna have to cut you. Gonna have to cut you short. Bye bye. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Nick, how you doing? Hey, Kevin, how's it going? How are you? Is we're uh, welcoming in uh, Nick from Captain's Corner, and uh, he's going to be a, a guest on the show today. And uh, I guess we'll be uh, waiting for uh, Chad. Yeah, Chad should be calling in any minute. Okay, so folks, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we should be joined by 
both Nick and Chad. Chad being from uh, the two-man power trip of wrestling. And actually, is he from Washington, D.C.? Uh, yeah, he's, he's in the Virginia area, yeah. Okay, so this is probably him. Let's see. Let's merge, you guys. Chad, that you? That's Chad. How you doing? All right, here we go. So we we do got the both is on. So uh, oh, so so uh, are you a are you a Washington Capitals fan? <laughs> I'm a transplant. I'm down here uh, for nah. work. So the answer to that would be no. Ah, too bad, too bad. Because I am. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. Well, it's good to hey. You ever want to come down and see a game? You know, hit me up. Oh, absolutely, man! That's I, I haven't I haven't been there uh, since it was uh, uh, the Capitol Center way back way back in the day. Oh, nice! Yeah, I mean, the arena's beautiful. Uh, my uh, my company's got a very nice box. I've seen uh, the Islanders play down here. It's pretty uh, it's pretty good little experience, you know. Not a bad team to watch either. But you know, like I gotta say, I'm not a big hockey fan, so uh, I just take it as it goes. <laughs> all right, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair Okay, so um, again, I appreciate you guys giving us a call. Um, obviously, you know, you guys know there was uh, a, a lot of chatter uh, amongst Facebook and, and social media regarding a convention that you guys are trying to put together for the Sunday of WrestleMania. So to kind of catch everybody up on that, on April 7th, WrestleMania is coming to the New York, New Jersey area. Um, at MetLife Stadium in in New Jersey, uh, better known as the Meadowlands, you guys are uh, attempting to put together a convention called uh, was it marked out at the Meadowlands? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, who's whose idea? Like, who, where did this originate from? This I- the idea and uh, why? Well, well, I I guess I can start chat if that's okay with you. Yeah, go um, ahead. Go ahead. So. Uh, we, uh, I guess everyone was waiting for the WrestleCon site to come out. And, uh, you know, some people were saying it was going to be in New Jersey. Some people were saying it was going to be here. And then uh, when they announced that it was uh, in Midtown Manhattan, right? I know uh, a lot of vendors, you know, without, without naming any other names, were caught off guard just because of how, uh, you know, maybe that's not the easiest place when it comes to parking, unloading, yeah. you know, finding, you know, in, inexpensive hotels, things like that. Um, and then when they announced, what the tables were going to be, mm-hmm. I started running the numbers in my head, and I, I just didn't see it was something that was going to make sense for me. Right. Um, I had talked. I had talked to a couple of other vendors, uh, Chad and John, being uh, two of the vendors that I spoke to, and uh, just thinking about, hmm, what if we do something? And the goal was never to run directly against WrestleCon, right. just because WrestleCon in, in our world is a, is a beast on its own, you know. Right. Uh, with no disrespect to any of the other conventions. And uh, came up with the idea to where if we did something on Sunday before WrestleMania, within walking distance of WrestleMania, that, you know, we might be able to draw some people. And uh, we talked about it a little more seriously. I wound up finding the venue myself after calling a bunch of places. And uh, that leads us to where we are, to where, you know, everything is locked in. Mm -hmm. Uh, The convention is set for, uh, you know, the 7th, like you just said. It's going to be 10 o'clock to 2, so it's not going to be, I know Boardwalk Beatdown was a longer convention. Some type big event runs to 3. It's going to be 10 to 2, so um, I know Richie was talking about uh, all the pre-WrestleMania parties, so he'll be able to get to that if he wants to. And, you know, (laughs) but, uh, yeah, so it's going to be a four-hour show to where if someone wants to you go to WrestleMania that's in walking distance, so that's in driving distance, they still be able to accomplish that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, hit our show too. Now, you guys aren't worried about the fact that... And and let, let's start off where I, I was one of those uh, promoters that was not happy about WrestleCon being at the Midtown Hilton for those exact reasons that you named, and I've mentioned it on this show probably at least three times, about um, anybody who's traveling to a convention, 